Hello fellow island riders. I've got some explaining to do. <laughs> yeah, where's Fox? Uh, he's definitely not here where we're at in uh, Ponnell. That's down by the, uh, the firing range actually. But here I have, uh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's not my bike. It's just a dealer bike. It's a demo bike. A 2003 KLR 650. Adventure model. Without the bags, of course. But boys, oh boys. It's uh, it's pretty fun. <laughs> I'll explain a little bit as we hit the road. Let's get it right into the red dirt, what do you say? Maybe we'll avoid the mud today. Because this is not my bike. This belongs uh, to Shane Bolger and the crew at Bolger Motorsports. For those who don't know, I bought my KLR, the Silver Fox, um, at Bolger Motorsports. It was my very first motorcycle ever. And uh, Mitch, Mitch the man, uh, gave me a heads up one day and he was like, hey, we got a demo KLR. It's brand new. Do you want to take her out for a rip? And I said, yes, <laughs> obviously. So here we are, checking it out. And you know what? I've already been riding it a little bit. Probably just brought it in probably about, you know, 20K in from town. But I wanted to start it right out. I wanted to get down into the dirt a little bit. Just a tiny bit though, because I, you know, I'm kind of apprehensive about really unleashing this thing onto any kind of trails because it's, uh, I don't want to wreck it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So right out of the gate, what do I think of it? It's really different. Uh, <laughs> It's, uh, that's, that's as much as I can say. I mean, if you guys want a thoughtful review, there's like 3 billion reviews on this bike on, on YouTube right now. So that's not really what I'm after with this video. What I'm after is, is something a little bit different, something a little bit more unique. And, uh, it's a little bit selfish. I'm not going to lie, but it's, it feels so different. I didn't think it would, but you know what? I think half of the feeling is just me riding a bike with 30,000 kilometers on it, that's a tractor, and then hopping onto this thing that's fuel injected and only has 345 kilometers on it. Actually, you know what? I've always wanted to see where Crown Point Road goes. We're, we're gonna do it. Let's do it. Why not, eh? Why not do a little bit of trail tracking while we're out here, eh? I will observe some restraint, that's for sure. <laughs> but man, oh man, I'll tell you, the first thing I really noticed about this bike was the throttle response. Because I could really feel the decel on this bike. It kind of almost, it feels like a real good brake. And the other thing I could tell you about it too is that it just, feels very very solid too but for me this is only the second brand new bike I've ever like ridden obviously because there was the KLR and then there was this and it is only the third other bike I've ever ridden in my life so the other the only other bike really I've ridden is uh is Andy's Harley Pan America and I get a little bit of the same kind of vibe as far as throttle response is concerned on this one. See what I mean? <laughs> a little sand here. I gotta remember I don't have like really meaty. I got the stock tires on this one. Let's just stay frosty around this blind. Yeah, see right there? Oh, what a beautiful spot this is. Great place to get this thing baptized in a bit of red dirt. But Mitch has already had it out too, right? He's already put most of the, the kilometers on it. And he got it ready for me too before I took it out. So I guess the question becomes, would I buy one of these? I think so, you know, if I was just getting ready to buy my KLR, 
and I didn't have the Silver Fox. I would probably buy this, but would I trade this for the Silver Fox? Absolutely not. No way. I mean, that bond between me and my KLR 650 goes so much deeper than than anything else. So for me, I just, I don't think I'd do it. But if I was just getting into the ADB scene, I would definitely consider buying one. Because, I mean, there is the feeling of the extra weight there, but man, it's not really that much different than what we've got going on right now. This is a really cool spot. I've always wanted to come down here, but I've never actually been able to make it. I think we're, uh, we're done right here though. So the other reason really why I was excited to take the KLR out from Bolger's today was to kind of get a feel for what a KLR feels like brand new in comparison to what my fe mine feels like, you know, after 30,000 kilometers. A lot of times I'm always hunting like weird noises and such, you know, all over the machine, but, you know, I don't really know if those are just, you know, regular KLR noises or not. So riding on this one gives me a little bit of a benchmark, do you know what I mean? And I could tell you that it feels just so good. I know they did some work on the suspension and I could tell you I could feel it too. It's really, really cool. Mine squishes a bit more. This does not on the road. And of course, the lights on the front, just awesome. I love those trail lights. They're beautiful. So yeah, I'm seeing that, <laughs> you know, a lot of the throttle play is really cool. I just, I wish I could give you some kind of real big review on this but you know what at the very end it just feels like I'm riding another KLR with some different plastics but there is a lot of difference you know the fact that there's no carburetor on this one the fact that we have like these little front end cush drivey type things see that the little rubber there I'm not noticing any of the kind of vibrations I would ever notice with my 2018 KLR on the highway with this and it's great Anyway, let's back ourselves out of this trail and get some more uh, get some more blacktop under our belt with this guy. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Do you see the hill up there? I don't know. It's really, really hard to tell, but like you can see the little tracks of the uh, the fertilizer machine that's gone up through it. Really, really cool. I love Ponel because of its beautiful rolling hills. If you're a fan of blacktop rides. Uh, Ponel is such a great one, but you know what? If you're on Prince Edward Island and you do love the blacktop, you probably already know. <laughs> we'll get her going on the highway. We'll feel what the what the RPMs and what the vibrations are like. Shifts so smooth, like downshift is just incredibly smooth. I love the sound of it. Go easier. <laughs> Now, as far as the vibes go, they're there, but totally not to the degree that I, that I have, or to the degree that I felt when I got my 2018. Like, I felt like when I got Silver Fox, I was looking up on Google, should my bike be vibrating this much? And of course the answers were, it's just doing KLR things. <laughs> so that's pleasant. But this, definitely not as much vibration, and I love that, that's very good. Now, one of the biggest draws to the KLR 650 for me was the fact that I was going to be a brand new rider on Silver Fox on the on the 2018 that I have. And um, I feel like this bike is still great for beginners. You know, of course, the throttle response is a little bit more snappy. It is a little bit more, like ever so slightly, right? But it is a bit more sensitive and such, which, which is a little bit you know, intimidating for someone who's brand new on a motorcycle, but the clutch response, the shifting is so very smooth. And despite the little extra added weight that you get on this machine as compared to 2018, I think, I think it's just fine. So if any of you are out there watching this and you're thinking, hey, is this going to be a good beginner bike? Yeah, it is. Go for it. You know, fill your boots, as my dad would say. <laughs> 
So as I'm heading back into town to uh, bring the keys and this machine back to Shane and, and to Mitch at Boulder Motorsports, I just want to extend an incredible and very heartfelt thanks to Shane, to Mitch, to Max, to the whole crew at Boulder Motorsports for, you know, not just this evening. I mean, thank you so much. This is amazing. This was such a fun ride tonight. And I really needed it too. It was nice for the brain space, you know what I mean? But also for helping me make my motorcycle dream a reality. I've always wanted a KLR 650 and Shane was right there to help me get that bike on the road. I would just gotta say, if you're on Prince Edward Island and you need a Kawasaki, go to Bolter Motorsports, obviously. They're like very down home, you know? Very good people that work there and they'll take care of you. All you gotta do is let them know what you want. What's gonna make, you know, your dream a reality on two wheels? Shane and the crew, they'll help you out for sure. So definitely check them out. There's a lot of awesome bikes in the showroom right now and there's a Versus 650 there too. <laughs> anyway, let's get this one back in.